Hello folks, welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Yes, it's been postponed. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not cancelled. What a surprise. A few weeks ago, in one of my videos, I mentioned that this fight wasn't going to happen. I also said that Mike Tyson might face health issues. And here we are. Mike's got an ulcer. When you're 60 years old, health issues are always a possibility, even if you are Mike Tyson. Age catches up. No one's immune from age. You might look at healthy on the outside, but we can't see what's going on inside our bodies. We haven't got x-ray eyes. And young people heal quicker than older, older folks. I used to exercise vigorously every day when I was a young youngster. I'm going back 45 years ago. I was in a combat sports for 25 years. But now, I can't even bend down to tie my shoelaces. So I get a slip on shoes or get the missus to tie my shoelaces. Years of physical exercise eventually wears down the body. Once you stop, your muscles tighten up and you become as stiff and lazy. So, Mark Tyson was training for this fight, but what you saw were short clips. Some not longer than 20 seconds and some speeded up. Another thing is, this Jake Paul versus Mark Tyson fight was for Netflix to promote their new venture into sports, similar to what Amazon is doing. When I want to watch sports, I can't find it in, on Netflix. I have to go on Amazon Prime and pay to watch it. All Netflix have is foreign TV shows, foreign films and cartoons. That's why they were planning for an exhibition match to promote the fight as pay-per-view. They want to become like Amazon Prime. And by the way, they wouldn't have allowed Mark to knock out Jake if they did fight. It wouldn't be in their interests. They wanted the fight to go the distance to get as much exposure as possible. A long fight will mean more publicity for Netflix and a good entertainment. Rumours are, now Jake Paul has to find a new opponent and a few names have been mentioned to replace him. But it's not true. I repeat, it's not true. Who came up with these clickbaits? Netflix won't agree to Jake fighting anyone else. Not even Roy Jones Jr. who volunteered or was rumoured to put his end up. They want Mike and will delay or postpone the event until Mike gets better, or even cancel it. They haven't spent all that money promoting the fight to scrap it and start over with someone less popular than Mike Tyson. Jake allegedly asked KSR to step in, but a Netflix spokesman said they will wait for Tyson. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. They might even scrap the whole thing like I said, and think of other ways. We'll see what Netflix decides rather than rely on rumours. In my opinion, this fight will never happen. It's just a promotion for Netflix, not a real fight. Both will have come out as winners and it will have ended in a draw if they did fight. But before I go, Jake Paul should stop fantasizing about becoming a boxer. Anyone can put a gloves on and do a few months of boxing training and go and pick someone he can beat and call himself a boxer. He should prove it by picking a proper contender or someone in the 12 ranking and fight him and not has been or paid to take a dive. Money can make people do strange things, especially if Paul Jake pulls them to take a dive. Anyway, that's enough for me uh, mumbling on. Thanks for tuning in, folks, and stay subscribed for more updates. Now I'm going to go and see if I can tie up my shoelaces, if I can bend down. See you next time, folks.